Joker. Let me see. Welcome to the Black and Out Table. From the 718, right off the D, the man with the silkiest do rag, Manny. From Virginia by way of Europe, he gives his all every week. Cody Gray. Live and direct from Strong Island, the certified good you, Sky High E. You're listening to the Black and Out Table. Yeah. Y'all see, y'all know the vibes. My, my boy Manny glitching. Hello, hello. <laughs> you know what it is. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Let that fiber optics boot up. Bro, this some fucking bullshit, man. <laughs> I'm calling files tomorrow. Uh, yeah, all right. Then I'm like, yo, who's this? Manny? <laughs> Gonna bang it on your ass. <laughs> What's the vibe though? Man, bro, I've been just working, cooking dinner, and fucking going to the gym every day this week. It's been my whole schedule. This nigga, man, if you're not sub to the Patreon, I ain't gonna out you over here. You feel me? This is public, but if you sub to the Patreon, Manny just he gave us his uh his routine, his regimen. You feel me? How he gives it up, <laughs> how he stays in fabulous shape. So you yep. If, you know, if y'all not tapped in, tap in. You feel me? Patreon.com slash Black and Out Table. You feel me? My y'all diet go crazy. <laughs> Two, yeah. Crazy for real. Two crazy. <laughs> Three crazy. <laughs> Yo, as y'all see, Cody is not here. He's currently, uh, he ditched us to go see Ice Spice and Doja Cat perform somewhere in New York City. And uh, to be honest with you, at first, I was like, yo, this look at this nigga going to see Ice Spice and Doja Cat. And then I looked at his story and seen Ice Spice shaking ass. And I was like, you know what? This nigga was on to something. And he, he went he went on a date too. It's him and I mean I don't wanna I don't wanna out him or nothing. I don't wanna, you know, put his business out there. No word. But yeah, him and uh Ryan Clark got locked in for this concert, so <laughs> He's going to punch you in your ribs when he see you, man. <laughs> That's not funny. Yo, I just realized I'm the only one that hasn't, like, left to go to a concert on, like, the day of a show. But it's coming. You feel me real soon? I'm, I'm going to skip the show to go to a Richie Spice concert. Yeah, I'm there too. I won't be here if that's the case. <laughs> I'm going to skip the show and go to, like, an Alkaline concert. Hey, I'm, I'm that, right bro. there with you. Nah, chill. You, you got you got work to do, bro. <laughs> nah, it's gonna gotta, be me. Gotta be right here. Me, Shorty, and Move Mountains playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo. So I basically I say all that to say, y'all gonna get in two, well, two fifths, two four. However you want to slice the pie, we here. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna, I wasn't gonna cheat you. That well, math was beating your ass. Nah, cause I was like, is it two thirds? <laughs> And then I was like, but wait, Mouse. And I was like, all right, so two fourths. And I was like, but wait, Chris, <laughs> two fifths? I don't know. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, KP, two, two six, uh, one third? <laughs> ah, god damn it. Yeah. But yeah, now nah, we here, man. I'm, I'm going to do the best I can today. You feel me? I might give y'all a, a double cheeseburger. You know what I'm saying? Eight points, three rebounds, two assists. What are you, Ben Simmons? <laughs> yeah, yeah, at this point, yeah. You feel me? You you can't hear the 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 raspiness in my voice. I don't sound like Jada Kiss to you. Oh my god! Come on, bro. That means I gotta carry. No, I mean it's I'm gonna about, be light. <clears throat> about to expose myself. I drank tea, so I wouldn't be coughing in the microphone. I'm like Manny. You feel me? I'll be coughing in the mic, bro. Do you? Oh fuck! I ain't even noticed. <laughs> nah, you you don't be ODing. I used to be ODing last year. I used to right. purposely take the microphone off the shit to call them somebody. <laughs> <laughs> that was what I was doing. <laughs> With a little burp in between. Hell yeah, but you know I'm doing better. 
you know. Um, Podcasts and professionals. Something like. So basically, this is our version. This is going to be, you know, this is going to be, you know how Eli and Peyton Manning have the Manning cast? <laughs> this is going to be like. <laughs> the Man Eve cast? Yeah, so, so something the, like that. That's the name of the pod, KP. You're welcome. My boy KP got disconnected. Right. Good, good God. <laughs> he didn't get disconnected. He left. <laughs> yeah, that nigga that man. It word. <laughs> but man, fuck this show, bro. But yeah, man. So we about to give y'all our version of the Manning cast today. We got a few things we're gonna run down, talk about just cause you feel me. And we did give y'all a little heater on Sunday. If y'all did not tap in, make sure you go tap into that uh that uh, post. I don't want to call it a post show because it really wasn't a post show. A little recap. Yeah, we did a, a Survivor Series recap on Sunday. Mm-hmm. So if you were not around, make sure you go run that. You know what I'm saying? This up right now on YouTube, youtubecom slash Black Announce Table. I I don't want to be that guy. It was low key a masterclass. <laughs> low key on the lowest so? piece. I, I thought I thought it was great. Nobody told me that it was great, but I think so. Nah, it was. And people actually, well, one person told me it was great. Shouts to Mills. Mills like, yo, <laughs> this is some good shit, man. <laughs> Whenever I need a little pick me up, there's Mills. <laughs> what a guy. Yo, yeah, no, nah, Mills is possibly the greatest human ever, bro. Yeah. You well, remember his- that? He was like, yo, I saved a baby today. I was like, damn, I just <laughs> I think it was like, yo, I saved a baby. I'm at work. I'm like, bro, I just, I just finished smoking a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> and you saving kids. Yo, bro, it's always, bro, he always got some little, like, side quest that he be on. Like, his IG story where, um, where <laughs> Shorty just gave him warm milk <laughs> instead, instead of hot chai. I, I don't know what drink he gets, but it's supposed to be a bunch of other shit in there. Bro. But she didn't add nothing but the milk. <laughs> that shit is fucking crazy, son. <laughs> Yo, That's if crazy. I take if I take a sip out of a fucking cup, <laughs> and it's just warm milk, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm spiking that cup like Gronk, bro. <laughs> I'm throwing it into the face. <laughs> uh, That's od. Don't give me warm milk, bro. Especially if I pay for that bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap first and then throw it in the face. <laughs> I think it's, I'm gonna take a nap, asshole. But yeah, man. <laughs> let's let's get to our man and cast, bro. Let's see, let's see how this man and cast goes, man. Our man Eve cast. Hell yeah, whatever you want to call it. All right, y'all, check it out. We got five Patreon tiers, okay? We have the dollar tier, which is just a dollar. It's a donation. We have the $5 tier, which is audio and Discord access. We have the $10 tier, which gets you audio, video, Discord access, and a discount on merch. And the $20 tier is for the ballers. You get all of that, plus you get to be on one of the shows that's on the Patreon, all right? Subscribe to the Patreon today. Become a patron. I'm Eve, and I approve this message. We out. The Block and Out Table. Know the fucking vibes, man. I, I gotta gotta start out with some heat. You feel me? With a bomb. Also, gotta start out by letting y'all know Thursdays just got funnier, man. We're moving to Thursday mornings. You feel me? Starting next week, December seventh. Y'all will see a brand new upload from us going forward. You know what I'm saying? If, if Nori was here, he would say, "Make some noise." But I'm here, so I gotta I gotta drop the round of applause for that. If I could find it. You know what? I'm gonna drop this. Fire, 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 fire. <laughs> Even so yeah. Next week, December seventh, look out for us. You feel me? I know we I hope we don't mess up too many people's days. We're we're moving the day, you know, forward. Uh so yeah, you feel me? It's still gonna be the same heat. Just on a different day, you feel me? Uh, also, I want to shout out everybody that's been copping the shirts and let y'all know that shirts are out right now. You know what I'm saying? Shouts to homie right here, show me right here. What's (laughs) it, my boy Josh HGH? Yo, come on, man. 
That's a real gym, too. You see how, like, it's just bare bones, just straight up iron behind them. Bro, let me tell you something. I know a retro fitness when I see a retro <laughs> fitness, bro. You see that yellow and red back there? That's a, yo, <laughs> Let me tell you something, pal. I know a retro fitness when I see a retro fitness. You understand me? <laughs> Ain't no machines in there, bro. Shouts to retro fitness, bro. Ain't no saunas, no pools, no basketball courts. It's just iron and machines, bro. That's it. You feel me? You lucky if you get the little the sled to push. You feel me? Everything in there is rusty. It smells like mold. You feel me? Or at least mine does. You feel me? And that probably that should you feel me? Raise caution. You feel me? Be careful when you're out there. But yeah, you know the vibes. <laughs> so shouts to everybody that copped the shirts. They're still out right now. If you haven't gotten them, KP, would you be kind enough to show the people what we have available before we start? Bang. Come on, man. Six-time champ shirts available right now. What else we got? The I Give My All shirt available right now. Long sleeve, red, perfect for Christmas. And we got the vintage ECW Extreme Black Announce Table long sleeve shirt out right now as well. And I'm I'm thinking I'm conspiring of a new, you feel me, a new uh, design also. So be on the lookout for that when that comes as well. Which one's your favorite shirt, Eve? Uh, out of out of the three of them. Yeah, out of the trio. Uh, uh, I'm gonna rate it. I'm gonna go the ECW one first, then the six time champ second, and then mm-hmm. the I give my old joint. Those are my. You feel me? In in order. You know what? I respect it. I, yeah. I'm tailing. <laughs> you you gonna tell my play? Yeah, I'm telling that play pause. Hey, yo. The people look great pause. <laughs> yo, man, let's get into it, man. KP, what we starting with, bro? Talk to me. Ah. The last three months in the WWE have looked just like this. Lord have mercy. We got the return of John Cena, the return of Nia Jax, The Rock, Jay Cargill signed with the WWE. Carlito comes back to the WWE. Kyrie Sane return. Randy Orton return and CM Punk. My God. That's a big lineup, man. Um, I'm not gonna hold you. The, what you thinking? KP throw or Who's who's in charge of the uh let me see that look? I, I, I think I can rank these people in order right now. Of who's gonna have the best year next year? Yeah, of, of least impact to most impact. Uh in these last three months. Okay. All right. Um John Cena's impact. No. Carlito is the least. I'm sorry, my Puerto Rican brother. I mean he just came back just to come back. It really hasn't really done anything. Bro, it's Not been either. like one. <laughs> you and Cody got to stop this shit, man. Y'all Damn. like, oh, it's, it's, it's been, bro, he's been back for like four weeks. He's bro. still in the storyline right now. Like, y'all want him to be WWE champ or something? Nah, but like, do something cool. Like, he's Carlito, bro. He ain't bro. doing nothing cool. How you Carlito? You're not doing nothing cool. He's in a storyline with LWO right now. Bro, he's not cool, bro. He's, <laughs> bro. he's not cool, bro. Yo, y'all niggas are the most impatient niggas I've ever met in my life, bro. bro. But like, just like retro a shirt or something, bro. You just want to wear that uh that Apple shirt with his face on it. That says spit and swallow. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you want, freak man. Get that freaky shit on your page, bro. I ain't wearing that, bro. Yeah, nah, that shit is ass. Come on, man. But also, to be fair, there hasn't, like, what's the, the the hottest new, like, WWE shirt? Or the hottest, like, who got the illest merch out right now? Like, Jay Uso got a Yeet shirt. You gonna Besi- you know, Besides the black announce table, I'll tell you right now. Come on, man. Um, I mean, the CM Punk shirt is a classic. Yeah. Um, Nah, Randy Orton's new shirt, the cream one? Fire. Yeah, absolutely fire is 
for the people watching. I'm trying to. I can't even show it, but <laughs> you see it. Yeah, I see it. I pre. That's just fire. But yo, as far as like impact goes, KP, can you put that graphic back up? I think Nia Jax might have the least impact, and the most most impact is obviously CM Punk, right? It's not even close. Him, like The Rock, doesn't have you know a big impact. He just you know came back for a one off. Yeah, John Cena is going to Hollywood to get uh, yeah to get forty mil real quick. John Cena pulled up to keep the ship afloat, basically. To yeah. be honest, um, who else? Jack- Kyrie, no, no, Kyrie Sane probably top three. Jade is in the middle. Yeah, I definitely think Jade, CM Punk, and Kyrie gonna have the the biggest yeah. impacts next year. And I, I think Randy, Randy's, I think he's gonna be in the mix. Randy's gonna be more like a I don't want to say a facilitator, but he's gonna be like the catalyst for a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. Like he's right. gonna be the nigga to keep a lot of shit going. We already saw um <clears throat> where who was it? Was it Jay Uso where he was like, Yeah, nah, it's all good, we cool. And I'm like, he's gonna stun, he's gonna hit that nigga with the craziest RKO. Bro, yes, yeah, pause, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's on the way. But yeah, Nia Jax, I got at the bottom of this list, and everybody else above her. Uh, I just don't put Nia. I don't put Nia that low, only because you know, I saw somebody on Twitter say she's the only person that's really a heel in the women's division that's like being like you know that monster type. And I was like, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I mean that's. <clears throat> I don't want to say that's all she could do, but why would you have her do anything but that? Yeah, like I remember when they like when she won the the title from Alexa Bliss, and basically like the whole story was like Alexa Bliss bullying her, calling her fat and shit like that. And I was like, "Yo, Nia Jax is like two eighty. You feel me? Alexa Bliss is a calm like one hundred and five pounds, <laughs> and you let her bully you? Like, come on, bro! Like, you... all it takes is one boink right there on the top of the head. I'm like, bro, come on, let's let's use our heads here. Let's be realistic." Feel me, so the Nia Jax, so you gotta, she gotta be doing that, and she a bully in real life too. <laughs> but yeah, shouts to that. Next, the CM Punk hits the ring, man. Man, look, CM Punk. I wish Cody was here to discuss this because when I said the other day that CM Punk had to kiss the ring, my boy threw a fit. He said, "No, he don't got to kiss no rings." He's here. Nah, bro. Let me tell you something. CM Punk, as tumultuous as the relationship between him and the WWE was, and now you, I don't want to say he's come crawling back, but now that you're back, you kind of have to kiss the ring, bro. You talk shit about the Miz. You talk shit about mad niggas over here, bro. You know what I'm saying? And the niggas that you talk talking shit about is now the niggas that's running shit. You feel me? When you left, there was the little homies. Now you return and they the big homies. You know what I'm saying? So KP, can you pull that can you pull that graphic? Uh can you pull that graphic back up? Uh Punk reached out, listened, and then agreed to what was asked of him before signing his contract. Sports Illustrated confirmed. Now is this real confirmation or is this Raj Geary confirmation? I just want to know. But I don't know. Raj Geary confirmation is real yeah. cheeky. I, I don't know. I don't know who's putting this out though. <laughs> like, like, who uh, in the decision making process would want it to? I, I guess the WWE would want it to sound that way, but from like the and Triple H, I'm kind of liking his management style. Like in the public, mm. he's kind of turning into like a diet Dana White, <laughs> where he's like, "Yeah, I don't really give a fuck what nobody says. We just be doing whatever we want, and you know, Make people are gonna, yeah, because like." And here's the problem with like a lot of these uh, reporters, mm. where like the reporters don't really make sense like when they ask these questions. But I think that in their minds they think it's a great question because they're asking it. But like some of the things they asked was like, "Hey, are like the investors in TKO pressuring you guys to get somebody like Punk?" And I'm like, "Shut up! Why the fuck would an investor give a fuck? Like nobody invests into something to run the show that way." Like, yeah, it, no, like, uh, 
Disney doesn't have any say in what happens in the UFC, for example. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so why would people, you know, be like, oh, go get CM Punk? Like, bro, they already made billions of dollars without CM Punk. Like, I just think that this was just a progression of what Triple H's vision is. Hell yeah. And like, if the, like what do you really have to do uh, to prove that the WWE is the biggest thing around? Like CM Punk was the cherry on top of like, yo, we do everything and we got everybody that really matters. Real shit. <clears throat> I, I couldn't agree with you more. You know what I'm saying? In that picture, KB, can you, can you pull that picture back up? <clears throat> I think that picture, the other one where uh, him, and, yeah, this one right here, mighty cold day in hell. Come on, like this is, like you said, it's the cherry on top. And this is to me. I don't mean to talk about AEW, but this isn't the nail in their coffin. You know what I'm saying? Because look who you chose over this man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and granted, he did work him, his, himself out of that company. You know what I'm saying? With all the fighting and bullshit that he was doing. But essentially, y'all chose Jack Perry. Y'all chose Edge, Ric Flair. Like, y'all chose a bunch of weak niggas over him. And it's, it's cool. You feel me? But like you said, you like Triple H's management style. I love it, too. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, nothing is more like or more important than the bottom line. You feel me? And the bottom line at the end of the day is these numbers, these records, this money. You know what I'm saying? And as long as we breaking records, I feel like every every month it's a new record broke. You feel me? They said they broke the the Survivor Series gate record. Uh, they broke the record for uh, views on a, a video in 24 hours or something like that with the CM Punk clip. This is all uh, a brand new record, a brand new number. You feel me? And that's what with TKO, that's what they want. You know what I'm saying? The Triple H gives that to him. You feel me? He, he knows how to run shit. So, and and with that being said, who do you think who do you think has more people in their promotion thinking that they're a top dog, the WWE or AEW? And I have a follow-up question. That's why I'm asking. Thinking they're a top dog? Yeah, like, do you think... Being a top dog? Yeah, like, not even how who has more top dog, like, top talent, mm. but who do you think has more people thinking that they're the shit in that company? AEW or WWE? I think uh, it's definitely got to be AEW. And I'm not saying that because I... I'm an AEW hater, or you didn't feel. I just feel like over there, I feel like it's just a lot of delusion. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I think it's a lot of people that just don't know they roll. Mm-hmm. You feel like everybody's th- th- that guy, and it's like, bro, come on, let's let's be for real here. You feel me? There's only one who I don't even know who the who the the top dog is over there. And that's why I ask. In in the WWE, the WWE is the top dog. Every it's like going to like. Georgia, you if you go to Georgia to go play football, it's not about you. It's about winning, or like it's like, like San Antonio Spurs, exactly. Or the Georgia. Patriots, the Belichick way, exactly, bro. Belichick was in in the in team meetings yelling at Tom Brady just to show players that like even he's not too good to be criticized and critiqued and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Bro, Pop should do the same shit. You know, not we were speaking about AEW. The did you see the article that came out with Daniel Bryan being the police? I did not. I did see people talking about it, but I never saw like. So basically, Daniel Bryan or Bryan Danielson is uh he's on like a disciplinary committee that ultimately decides, or they decided to uh, terminate CM Punk from AEW. So this nigga Daniel Bryan is the feds. He's the police. He's 12. I mean, I, to be fair, I do feel like if it had to be anybody, and I do, there's like a bunch of people on that committee. On that committee, I remember, uh, I think he was, uh, Tony Khan was talking to like Dan Lebertard or something, and he was talking about it, and he like briefly explained like wh- who consists of it. Apparently, it's like vets and wrestlers and other people, like, you know who have roles in the company. It's multiple people, Mm. but I get Daniel Bryan, I guess would make sense to have in there. Definitely over somebody like a Chris Jericho. Cause I feel like Chris Jericho would be like, ah, doesn't even matter. Like, you know, like he's an eye for an eye guy. I feel like Daniel Bryan would probably be a more level-headed type of person. 
Yeah, I think Daniel Bryan is, like you said, more level-headed. I think he is more probably fair and more reasonable than uh, uh, a Chris Jericho or, like, the Young Bucks. You feel me? And I mentioned them because, like, they they were EVPs. I don't know if they still are EVPs or, or what, but you feel me? I feel like he – that kind of would make perfect sense. Like, Daniel Bryan strikes me as the type to be like, yo, like, let's – you feel me? The nigga, like, he chops wood. He eats, you know, vegan food. Nigga likes almond milk. So he seems like the type to be like, yo, let's let's talk this out. Let's settle this. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can how can we be reasonable about this? You feel me? So that Daniel Bryan being on a, a disciplinary committee does not surprise me at all. Uh I would say shout out to Daniel Bryan, but I don't really I don't fuck with police like that, my man. <laughs> and I can't say shout out to Daniel Bryan because he's been doing stupid shit, bro. Like the nigga is like his his orbital bone is cracked and he's still about to wrestle. Bro, I seen him with an eye patch on earlier. I was like, "What's going on, bro? What are we doing?" Yeah, his his face is broke. Uh, you think Tony Khan pushed this up? Uh, Cause you know, earlier when um when the CM Punk shit came out, he was like, "I remember seeing tweets and shit." He was like, "Yo, I, I can't, I can't talk about this. You feel me? I can't. You feel me? I can't really say nothing about it." And then days later. The news of Daniel Bryan being on a disciplinary committee comes out. So you think TK was just you? You think he he passed that? Oh, he did the Magic Johnson, he he, with the Daniel Bryan news to get the heat off him. Uh, what company is Dave Meltzer on there? Is it Fightful? Uh, Dave Meltzer is under AEW. I know, I know, he's with AEW, <laughs> but I'm at, well, like, what's that's his, how it uh, appears. What's his like a uh, outlet? I don't know. Wrestling, uh, Wrestling Observer. All right, so one. I and this these new this news came from Fightful. Let's see. Fightful. Yeah, it didn't come. It didn't come from Tony Khan. Mm, so Fightful, is, Fightful Select got that from like fucking Marty Janetti. <laughs> <laughs> like you got that from a nigga outside the gas station. Yeah, I, I don't need I, if it comes from Wrestling Observer, that's Tony Khan right there, bro. Shouts to you might be right. Yeah, come on, this guy. Hold, don't ever listen to me again, <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, Raj, yo, matter of fact, I'm glad you tweeted this because this right here, boy, I, yo, this shit right here. This shit right here, I'm about to get a lot of burn out of this, man. <laughs> a whole lot of burn out of this. I'm I'm really glad that you dropped that. <laughs> you know, you know what I the the slow burn of the CM Punk thing, it's I don't know why it gets me tight. Like I, I don't know why I expect us to just know, boom, CM Punk is in a thing now. Like he comes out on on Monday. I I watched the entire episode of Raw, even though in my head, I know it makes no sense to start the show with CM Punk. Why am I doing this to myself? That's what you wanted? But I was just like, you know what? I don't know. For some reason, I just, you know, like, oh, let's get into it. And then now all I see is WWE just fucking remixing different clips of CM Punk just to... (laughs) Yeah, get all the engagement. I'm like, God damn it, they're doing the goddamn thing. Yeah, they putting salt in the wound, they twisting the knife. I like that. Yeah, but the the guy, the slow burn of, because I'm like, who is he gonna who's he gonna go against first? And it, watch it be like fucking Finn Balor or Damian Priest or some shit like that. We're gonna get to that, man. Don't worry about who he gonna face first. Just just enjoy the nigga while we have him here, bro. Okay. Y'all focus on the wrong shit. What? How much is that? Enjoy your retirement, ride back. Oh, is this real? <laughs> Yo, I I wish I had the link to this right now. Bro, KP, can you find us that link? <laughs> I wish I had the link to this ride back autograph <laughs> ride back. Um, I want to see how cheap it is from the big guy. <laughs> Pause. Pause. So. That was crazy. <laughs> Very. <laughs> that was. While we on the topic of AEW, their uh, their top dog, 
their man, MJF, is currently injured. The outspoken superstar was injured during full gear a few weeks back. He also sustained a hip injury, which required resetting. What that means, I don't know. MJF tore the same labor at double or nothing in 2020. He got that Bo Jackson. Bro, this that dislocated hip. That's what it sound like. Nigga got that uh <laughs> that shit. Yeah, Miz ain't get injured in like 25 years. I'm just saying. Hmm. I wish I had a drop for that. <laughs> MJF <clears throat> MJF chan the same. Yo, I don't know. These niggas is just getting hurt, bro. All of these niggas. Adam Cole tore his ankle up. MJF torn labrum. Bro, but it was like for his ankle to explode off of that little ass jump is so crazy. Oh, hold open on. Up, open up that link. <laughs> Word. Breaking news, everybody. <laughs> Yo, K- KP, you got to put the, uh, the breaking news music right over this. Place. Breaking news. Wow. That's crazy. All right, hold on. I got to open this link. <laughs> Yo, I opened the link and wait till y'all see what this link is, man. <laughs> Yo, open this link. Look what it is. <laughs> they man. violated my nigga Ryback, bro. Bro, y'all wasn't y'all wasn't rocking with Ryback when he pop, when he first popped out. Fuck no. Use you, bro. Stop putting us in this. Use the that's your man's. <laughs> you was the only nigga fuck with Ryback. You oh, still don't... feed me more. Come on, this nigga won't stop. <laughs> Bro, Ryback was that dude. I don't care what nobody says. That 2013, he should have won that title. What title? The WWE. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't yeah. he like a ladder match or something for it? And uh, then the field beat his ass versus Punk. Was it? I think it was a. Uh, I think it was a Hell in a Cell. If I remember correctly, because I I just remember him climbing to the top of the cage, the cell. Hmm. It, it might have been hell in the cell, man. But I feel like he got jumped by the shield on like a ladder or something. That was probably some other shit. Yo, one nigga that yo CM Punk. I'm glad you back and I'm glad you reformed and all that reformed, uh, and you've mended your relationships, but uh. Ryback is one nigga that I feel like you really don't have to forgive. <laughs> like, that's one person, one relationship you really don't have to forgive. Because I remember CM Punk talking about Ryback. Like, he was just the most, like... <laughs> he he talked about him like a caveman. <laughs> Bro. He was like... This nigga Punk was like, yo, this is my ribs. He's like, I fucking hated working with Ryback. <laughs> he was like, my ribs is all broken and shit, bruised. And I'm telling this big, stupid motherfucker, yo, stop. Oh, um, you working too stiff. You working too rough. And this motherfucker throws me onto a table, breaks my ribs some more. I was like, yeah, punk. <laughs> this nigga punk talked about Ryback when he was a fucking imbecile, bro. <laughs> and then I watch Ryback now, and I'm like, yo, everything punk said about you is right, bro. You really might be an imbecile. <laughs> I, yo, I literally, I said, and we going to move on from Ryback after this. I seen a TikTok of Ryback the other day. And this nigga was like, it's a filter on TikTok where it's like, you can make out with Shrek. So this nigga, like, the whole TikTok is just him making out with Shrek. <laughs> and his shorty walks into the crib and kept him making out with, like, with the filter Shrek. It was bad. I was like, I need to see this right now. <laughs> yeah, you like do it. I'm going to find it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to send it to the BAT Twitter so you can see. Oh shit! <laughs> Anyways, moving on from Ryback, man. <sighs> the Mount Rushmore of small niggas, Undertaker, man. <laughs> Undertaker was on his pod, and he gave what's his pod called again? The Dead Dead Man Talking. <laughs> Is that the name? I I feel like it should be. It's oh, called six, six feet, feet on, on dead man, dead man talking. 
needs to be the name of the pod. Yeah, Dead Man Talking is way better than Six Feet Under with Mark Calloway. But yeah, so uh, he was on his Speaking podcast. Speaking of Six Feet Under. <laughs> Yo, this, this man's a professional, man. <laughs> wow. What a guy. At, at first, it was just a Chris Benoit joke, but then I realized the list. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Pull, can, you, can you pull that list back up, KP? The, the Mount Rushmore. So on this list, Undertaker has Kurt Angle, AJ Styles, Eddie Guerrero, and Chris Benoit as his Mount Rushmore of small wrestlers. And I find this very crazy <laughs> because what do we do we even count Kurt Angle as a small a small wrestler? Was he a small guy? I never Hold on, let me look up how big. Pause. I mean, uh, uh, to Undertaker, everybody's small. Yeah, nigga, oh. six eight. <laughs> so the no. Undertaker, like, well, all you niggas are small to me. But how you not have Sean on that list? Is he going by height? Like, I I need to see. Like, how do you? How are you ranking this shit? The current angle's listed at six feet. Sean, I think Sean's like six one. How you not have Rey Mysterio on here? That's true. No, I, I saw some somewhere on Twitter earlier. Somebody mentioned that they thought Shawn Michaels was short, but he's like six three. Oh yeah, my nigga, shout out to my nigga Van. I yeah, it was Van. Yeah, 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 it was. Um, Shawn Michaels was like five eleven. Yeah, because they always made Shawn seem like, oh, he's so much smaller. But it's like, yeah, compared to seven feet tall people, I guess. Yeah, this list is type crazy. On the take, you got uh. Eddie's cool, AJ's cool, even Kurt. But come on, man, we we you putting this nigga Chris Benoit on this list is tight, wild, man. Do we put John Cena on the list? I don't think John Cena is like two hundred fifty pounds in his heyday. Cena. Oh, like so weight also counts. Oh, hell, I I feel like it would have to no. So then, Rey Mysterio, Rey Mysterio definitely, definitely. On this list, yeah. Who's your uh, who's one of your Mount Rushmore of small niggas? Pause. I mean that that was a pretty good list. I mean, I mean you know Chris Benoit, I, you know, kind of violated the whole family, but I'll put uh, Ray instead of Chris Benoit easily. Yeah, I'm definitely uh subbing Chris Benoit with Ray Mysterio too. Yeah, I might even sub Chris Benoit for Paul London. <laughs> 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 the fact that you said might is crazy. I just wanted to see what would happen. Yo, Paul London, pull up on the pod, bro. Like if Paul London is somewhere in a basement right now, fucking making beats. <laughs> like fucking smoking a fucking Lucy. Right there. He's the wrestling alchemist. Like if Paul London has work in the morning, bro. Sanitation. <laughs> 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 Paul London got to work sanitation in the morning, man. Oh my god, oh, shit! <laughs> I'm gonna take you nuts. For, uh, I mean, but you you said it on your platform. I I guess, man. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But I wouldn't have put a. I wouldn't have put something on there. I probably put a. I would have put Chris Jericho on there. I would have put uh no one. Chris, yeah, Chris Jericho is a, a cruiserweight champion. Ray. Eddie's good, like AJ Styles. I'm glad AJ Styles getting love on on a list on something. Niggas be leaving AJ out of a lot of shit, so mm-hmm. that made me happy to see. Yo, it's crazy to me that like the Undertaker's more understanding to like Chris Benoit killing his family and still being like a good wrestler, but he wants people to stand for the flag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like that's not crazy to you. I mean that is crazy. Like he 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 can't he doesn't understand the injustices in America, but let somebody kill their family and put Bibles next to you know you know what? Yo, KP, what'd you say? What's the next topic? <laughs> Ooh, I was about to double down with a joke. <laughs> I'm I'm good though. <laughs> uh on to some some real shit. QT Marshall resigned from AEW. That's your man's. That he quit. How you feel, Manny? 
Who the fuck is QT Marshall? <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't know QT Marshall? Yo, is he the is he the one that bit somebody? Like he bit a young buck? No, that's A Steel. Oh, if I pull up a picture of QT Marshall, I, I guarantee you've worked with this guy at some point when you worked at FedEx, bro. I'm gonna pull up a picture of QT Marshall right now, and you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, real QT Marshall on Instagram. Let me tell you something. I guarantee you that you have uh, worked with this guy at some time. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is the perfect picture right here. Right here. Hold on. I'm about to share the screen right now. <laughs> the anticipation. You, oh, you... bro, that's Quinn Thomas in Route 304. <laughs> he did Scarsdale. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Quinn Thomas. That's what bro. QT stands for? Yeah, bro, that nigga always had chicken soup in a in a fucking. <laughs> Yo, this nigga looks like if Kevin James was on HGH, this is what he would look like. You feel me? If the King of Queens was on a cycle. Yo, why do you think? Why do you insist that he's a delivery driver? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, because look at look look at him. What what did he do in AEW? Shit. <laughs> Bro, tell, with it, pause. Hold on, I gotta. I I need oh. pause, super pause. But with a neck like that, bro, all you all you do <laughs> is deliver packages, bro. Like, you feel me? You carry heavy shit up steps, deliver refrigerators. That's that's your job. <laughs> you feel me? That's what you do. Yeah, shout out my dog Quinn. Word. What you say his name was? Quinn Thomas. Yeah, Quinn Thomas. Or salute delivery driver of the year 2000, 2015, 16, and 17. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he would always walk around like in his truck. He had doggy treats because he, he knows all the dogs in his area. Yo, did you Bro. know all the dogs in your area when you was delivering? Nah, I got chased a couple times. Right? Yeah, I got chased by a, a German shepherd one time. And then the, the lady yelled at me. She was like, well, why'd you run? I was like, because it was running at me. Word. She was like, yeah, but it's not going to bite you. And I'm like, it's a German Shepherd and it was barking. I'm, I'm not going to stick around and find out. Well, there we go. Raw and the Warner Brothers Discovery Company, man. What is do that we... official? No, it is not official. But that... can, can, you, can you let me do my goddamn job, please? <laughs> <laughs> Can I set up the fucking question, please? My fault, OG. <laughs> I was gonna ask you, could they be heading over to uh Warner Brothers Discovery? You know what I'm saying? I heard I forgot who who was I listening to? I forgot who I was listening to, or I might have seen it on uh online. But uh over the past few days, Triple H and Tony Khan was out in LA conducting business. On Monday. Yeah. No, I heard they was out there for like the last like two days, mm. uh, conducting business. You feel me? So I don't know. Warner Brothers Discovery Raw. I don't know if there's a, a merger in the loop. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised because the way that these niggas have been rolling, I feel like it could happen. And I feel like uh, Nick Khan is just. I feel like this nigga is just the illest nigga, bro. Like that's somebody I would really want to talk to is Nick Khan. Like the way this nigga like conducts business and goes about business and shit like that. It's really him and Triple H. Like I like the way they do shit. It's real. Like yo, bottom line, here's what it is. Here's what we could do for y'all. Here's what y'all could do for us. What's the word? You know what I'm saying? Like it's some real like. I like, let's cut the bullshit here. Let's get to it. Type shit. I don't know. Now nah, isn't. TNT and TBS owned, yeah. Is is it's owned by Warner Brothers? TNT and TBS, yeah. So, so raw on T. Hell no. Nah. AEW couldn't even get a deal done for like their back catalog to be put on Max before it turned into Max, like when it was HBO Max. But they AEW don't even have a back catalog though. 
at the time they had like two years worth of shit. And even now, like you can put all the old pay per views on there if you wanted to, but they haven't. So I don't, I don't think the Warner Brothers thing has any legs. <sighs> they don't yeah. even know what they, they don't, like. It wouldn't make sense because one, um, Raw wouldn't make sense on Max. Like you lose out on millions of viewers. Mm. And then Max is like trying to find their identity. Like they had, they just added the Dan Levitard show, which is a Max. Yeah, to Max. And it's a DraftKings network show, but it's on Max. And then they added the Up and Adams show with uh, that shorty that keeps folding for with Shams. Yeah, K Adams. Yeah. And that's a a FanDuel exclusive show. Like Max has no idea. It doesn't make any sense that they would get. Um uh, no, apparently TNT's not losing the NBA. Mm-hmm. The NBA is trying to be uh on as many networks as possible next year. Like that's what they're trying to do with all their deals. So there's no way TNT loses. Yeah, TNT just paid Shaq, Ernie, and everybody for like five years. Yeah, a lot of niggas got paid, bro. Yeah, and that was this year. So they're definitely gonna re up on the NBA. Yeah, now they have to. <clears throat> they have to. Yeah. Uh Roy Warner Brothers Discovery. Final thoughts on that, man. Now that you mentioned it being on, I didn't know there was uh they own TNT and TBS. Yeah. Uh, but now that I know that, yeah, stay away. I'm good. I, I can't even fathom Raw being on TNT or TBS, bro. Your competition has that channel. Let them, let them, you feel me? Let them niggas stay over there and do what they do. Wait, SmackDown going, is going where? Uh, let's see. Spotify and rap. SmackDown, Smack- what I say? So, I, in, my, in my head, I think that they're moving Raw to a basic cable channel like uh not a cbs but like uh something like that you know one of those nbc nbc cbs me nbc, NBC fox yeah maybe abc nbc is the only place they should put real bro if yeah. you don't move it that's that's really the only place i can see you yeah. i don't even think they do abc because monday night football so yeah that's not even a possibility Facts. NBC is the place to be, bro. If y'all M- NBC would be fire. Hell yeah, run on uh, run NBC. That should be ill. Um, yeah, man. Shouts to Raw. Shouts to Tony Tony Khan. Shouts to Tony Kwan. That's me. <laughs> Shouts to Nick Khan. Shouts to Triple H. Fuck Tony Khan. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what we got, man? Spotify unwrapped. Yeah. So everybody posted their Spotify and rap this year. I mean, every, you know, it's it's that time of year, bro. Everybody posts their Spotify and rap all over the timeline on Twitter and everything. And I, you know, we wasn't gonna post it online. And I was like, you know what? I'd rather wait and see it on the show. So here we are. Let's see how we did, Manny. Australia, you have the most new listeners in Australia. Look at that. Shouts to yo, look, <laughs> look at that. Flex ball for Australia, man. Come on, brother. Plus seven percent in streams. Come on, brother. My impact. Plus eighteen percent in followers. Come on, brother. And plus thirteen percent minutes created. Pause. Bro said I'll be ready for the big one. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Yo. My nah. We be we be going we've been going crazy this year though. So I'm 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 just glad that the numbers are reflective of you know yeah. all of the silly little jokes that we've been making. Bruh. And that's with the transition from you feel me. From one thing to another, from providers to yeah, yeah. 
your top five podcast for 301. Fire! 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 Top five, top five, top five. Come on, y'all. For 300. Yo. See, it's shit like this. This shit means something to me, man. It's shit like this. You feel me? The shit like this that I, that really makes me enjoy what I do. You feel me? It's days where I really hate doing this shit. But it's shit like this that really makes me love coming here and doing this shit for y'all, man. Top five for 301 people. Shouts to all 301 of y'all, man. Y'all show love, man. We do it for you. Thank you. <laughs> Real shit. Do we have any more uh, Spotify shit, KP? Loki, I want to see some more. Oh, he said that's it. Well, <laughs> it was cool while it lasted. <laughs> Nigga, Ethan's like, I would really love to see some more stats. <laughs> yo, what are we doing in Antarctica? Yo, yo, I seen um, <laughs> I, I seen our other stats. Uh, matter of fact, nah, hold on. Let me let me pull those up. Flex a little bit. Stat that, stat that. Where those at, KP? Those is in uh in the, the group chat. Definitely not. I ain't never seen any stats until right now. Bro, nah, KP put the uh he put yeah, here we go. This right here. Yeah, hold on. Rank number 65 wrestling podcast in the United States of America. Come on, hold on. My drop at. Yeah. Ranked number 89 wrestling podcast in Australia. Shouts to Australia. And get this. His here's the kicker. His as KP would say, the big one. <laughs> We're number 13 in China. <laughs> Bing chilling. Yo, shout shouts to my Chinese niggas, man. Love y'all. Yo, I'm just glad that all my Chinese food has paid off. All right. Bro. They support me like I support them. When, when the last time you got an extra chicken when you pork fried rice? They they don't give me that ever. It's but a, what they did give me this week was a calendar, <laughs> a 2024 calendar made of bamboo. That's thoughtful. Yeah, right? It was nice. It was a nice touch. Yo, let me tell you something. <clears throat> if you want to know if you're valid in your hood or not, and we can move on after this, if you want to know if you're valid in your hood or not, go to your, chi- go to your local Chinese establishment. And see if they give you either extra chicken wing with your uh with your shrimp fried rice. See if they give you just a, a, a egg roll off just off the strength off the love. Egg roll, right? <laughs> or or <laughs> or a spring or a spring roll. It's just, oh, it come with egg roll. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if they don't give you any of those things, then you are not valid in your hood. I don't I don't got numerous free chicken wings. You feel me off the love. You feel me? I done got extra all types of extra just things. Oh, you want a, a, a cold drink? Go get you a ginger ale out the fridge. You feel me? Oh, you want a you want a, a iced tea that comes in a, a gallon jug? Go ahead, grab that. Be careful. You gotta cut it with water though, because that shit's sweet. <laughs> all right, let me let me let me read some of these stats out. Go ahead. Right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna give y'all where we top 10. Yo, Ooh. all my Sen- Senegalese people. Shop. Number seven. Senegal. Number seven. Shouts to Senegal. Well, yo, I don't know where Benin is. B E N I N. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck that is. We number two. Hey. <laughs> all right. Shouts to, shouts to Benin. It's Being lonely in the top. <laughs> yo. Oh, she said that's West Africa. Oh, West Africa. Yo, 
nah, we going crazy in Africa. I'm not even gonna hold you, yo. But, all my Nigerians, shout out my boy Iyayi. Shout number, outs who number 14 in Nigeria. I want to drop so many bombs, but <laughs> I gotta go Guess, chill. Guess what, Eve? What I took the pod to <laughs> Poland. Number 34 in Poland. Come on, man. Shout out my nigga John Paul II. <laughs> Y'all scared. You know me. where we off to Saudi Arabia. You know where we are going to see ya. Number six. Where? In Tennessee. T U N I S I A. Yeah, that's that spells Tunisia, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I don't know, Tennessee. <laughs> I thought I thought that was Tennessee spelled different. <laughs> Nigga said, yeah, we're, we're number what number are we? <laughs> six. We're number six in Shensia. <laughs> we're trying Shout out to Shensia. <laughs> Angola, number ten. Oh, yo, no, nah, I'm not I'm, yo, I'm not gonna lie. Africa shows have you love, bro. Yo, we running shit in Kenya. That's a little that's a little Kenyan running joke. I see what you did there. We're uh, number 18 in Kenya. Show me 18 wrestling pods in Kenya better than ours. I swear to God, I don't believe it. Number seven in Senegal? Come on, bro. Y'all know the vibes. Yo, if you're Next. listening right now in Senegal, send me a picture of your flag. I don't remember what it looks like. Next month, we're going to hit y'all with some more shit. Shouts to, we've been number one. We Honestly, we, we've ranked pretty high in a lot of places this year. Paris, Patty, China, like I just said. We just rattled some off. Australia, Canada. UK was showing, showing heavy love this year. Is that why KP made that Asian ass entrance? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Shout out on my yo, <laughs> Bing-a-ling, I'm not playing with y'all. Shout out. We, we gotta close the show with that one today. Oh man. You know it's, it's it's time it's time for our favorite segment of the week. Is, is it that time? Is it Indies on real time? Hell yeah. Shit. Shit. That choke slam from that security guard when it happened years ago. He was wilding. There was no need for that. Yo, let me tell you something. As a nigga that be wanting to choke slam niggas, there's always a need for that. <laughs> and <laughs> also, I, I wish I could uh, break that shit down like I was John Madden with X's and O's, bro. This nigga <laughs> got full extension on his, uh, <laughs> on the lift. Bro, bro the whole <laughs> body was. <laughs> bro, excellent. Yo, Yo. If I was Keith Lee, just rating moves and shit like that, I would I, hold on. I would give that choke slam a nine point seven out of ten. <laughs> that shit. Was good. Did you see what a uh, Nardo Wicks security guards did to that kid the other day? Yeah, knocked him smooth out. That was crazy, bro. What do I rate this? What What is? It? To the good life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, shout out to Ice Spice. She did all that with no effort. 
zero effort at all. Yo, I would like to rate Ice Spice Chicken ass. She made zero effort, but I rate that a 9.9 out of 10. And if I was there, I wish I could have been up close so I could do this. <laughs> Yo, it's KP. Just wanted to thank you all for supporting the pod and for purchasing the new merch. Visit Shop TBAT on Instagram to cop right now. Oh, man. That's all we got for y'all, man. Yo. You covered with a lot today. This is our Manning cast. <laughs> and I did it all sick. This is my flu game again. But Fair if me. you want more, you know, deep dives into the world of pro wrestling, because nothing happened this week, go go listen to our Survivor Series recap. Yeah. We're going in depth. YouTube.com slash Black Announce Table. Go run up that Survivor Series recap. It's up there. I, I think an, an hour and 20 minutes of straight heat. You get laughs. You get entertainment. You get insight. You get it all right there. And I think we're very close to 4K subs. I, when I say very close, I mean like maybe less than 100. You feel me? So. Go over there. That's all I want for Christmas. All I want for Christmas is to get to 4K subs on YouTube. Oh, we're 88 subs away. So go tell a friend to tell a friend. Or if you have not subbed, go make sure you go on YouTube and sub. You feel me? Because that's all I want for Christmas, man. 4K subs on YouTube. That'll make my Christmas this year. That'll make me very happy. Uh, I I plug the YouTube. Patreon.com slash Black Announce Table. We're all the way over there you feel me a lot of content up thursdays just got funnier starting next week december 7th we'll be hitting y'all on the apple on the spotify on the youtube wherever it is you get your podcast we will be there 9 a.m thursday morning trust me live you feel me (laughs) you feel me the same same heat just on a different day you feel me and as always KP just told y'all where to get the shirts at. I I, I think I'm good. I, I don't need to say anything else. The merch is available. They make excellent stocking stuffers. Christmas is upon us. And if you, you know you don't know what to get your family, look no further than that right there. Manny, what do you have to take us away with, man? New episode of the last stop. Has hasn't been recorded yet. Will be soon. At some point. <laughs> and Eve is going to be there. So the, the, there you have it, man. Open and shut case. <laughs> well, I'll let y'all next week, man. <laughs>